Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry. Sun is just barely coming up right now. Um, I'm still in my warm fuzzy pajamas. I sat outside for just a little bit, but I just wanted to share a quick haul with you guys. Um, first of all, in the mail uh, yesterday, I received a package. I was really excited. I thought it was something from makeup zombie and um it was from gina gay and i didn't even re remember what, that i had ordered anything from gina but this is what i got let me just show you um funny because i remember selling a puffy heart the other day <laughs> but i got another one um this one is vintage uh, nice and tarnished, and it's got all the lovely little scroll work. Yeah, I had forgotten all about it. Um, and how could I forget? Because, good lordy. Oh my gosh, this is just awesome. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought it wasn't going to fit. Very cool design. I love how the box just sits on top right here. And then over here, it's just got that nice little detail. And I love how they shaped this amber. It's very uh, like modernist. Oh, but wait, yeah. <laughs> it was like, I had to have the ring because I got this one and I don't remember where I got this one now. Did I get this from Gina or did I get this from Makeup Zombie? Um, yeah. Yeah. The two together. Ugh. I can't wait for my ring from make or yeah, from Makeup Zombie because I have a ring and a bracelet to match. And then, yeah. Ah, oh. ah, oh. life will be good then. <laughs> yeah, um, Gina, was this from you or Makeup Zombie, was it from you? I don't remember, guys. Look at the two together, though, right? I'm going to adorn this for a while myself um, because I, I really like it a lot. I really like the modernist take on... Um, both pieces of jewelry just really nice pieces of art and I love it very much thank you thank you Gina and thank you uh, Gina slash makeup zombie I don't remember <laughs> thank you guys and if you guys haven't checked out them uh, both of them have channels uh, uh, my pink bag aka Gina gay uh, is where I got this and makeup zombie just like that makeup zombie over at her channel if you guys haven't checked them out go check them out well after um yesterday was a very productive day everyone uh I feel very accomplished I must say let me turn this guy around so you can see what he's all about um I must say that I it was just quite a productive day I I did everything I had set out to do, and that was, we all three had the day off. We were going to do all of our shipping yesterday. Yay. Um, it was out, and I got it out in time. Uh, there was some boxes. Now, I didn't know because the girls helped me with all the packing. I'm going to show you these one at a time, but I just want to explain what happened. So, I do have about, oh... Mm, 14 or so packages that will be shipped today. They're all boxed up. They're boxes. Uh, many of them are going to Canada. I was unaware of this because I'm not the only one packing and I didn't do any of the invoicing. The girls did that. That's their job. My job is to bring you and share my jewelry with you. Their job is to, uh, I mean, I did help pack. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't know, uh, and I had taken five packages with me to the post office, so those I had to, you know, uh, knowing that I had some boxes, a couple of things that hadn't been paid for yet, uh, which everything has been paid for now. There was one person um, 
just one person that never emailed me with their information. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Whoa. Seasons are changing. I sat outside this morning and it's almost like rain. It's so foggy. Everything is soaking wet. It's like rain. But I was in my outdoor living room. It's got heavy curtains all the way around. So, But I'm sure I still had a lot of that moisture and whatever else the moisture has grabbed onto the pollens and whatever in the air yeah i'm sure i've been breathing that stuff all morning anyhow yeah so everything else is going out today guys with the exception of the one package where i never got an email if you, it's not that big a deal it was like a little christmas brooch it was a couple of like maybe 17 dollars um you may know who you are and i'm not gonna shout anyone out but Thank you, everyone, for participating and um, and being very timely. It just made everything so smooth, so smooth, just the way I want this engine to run, smooth like butter. I'm just going to start with this brooch here. Uh, yeah, so right after I hit the post office, I got to the post office at 3. That gave me an hour. It only took me like 15 minutes or because everything was United States, everything was in the United States, and uh, yeah, so <laughs> you see how I did that, mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, this says uh, Sterling ZSU uh, Mexico, and then there's another stamp over to the side uh, oh, interesting. It looks like real turtle, real turtle, R-E-A-L-T-U-R-T, -T. uh, or maybe that, I don't know. The last two letters are a little bit distorted, but that's what I'm reading here. And I actually think it would be this way for you. It almost looks like a real turtle. I don't know. What do you guys see? It's very cool, though. It's a bale. It's a brooch. And it's fabulous. It's fabulous. So, yeah, I went and saw my gold guy yesterday after I left the post office. And I wanted to do... Um, I, I needed, you know, I, I just have to replenish, especially the rings. You guys like rings, so I thought, hey, we're getting these ladies some rings. Most of these just don't have anything on them. Um, this is just a great mother of pearl. It's it's a nice one. Oh, darn. I'm going to have to, oh, but you know what? This is my actual seven. This is more like a seven and a half over here. So that's a seven. I tried to get a variety of sizes, but I was more looking for uh, what I think has sellability and what I think people would want. Um, that's just a little turquoise. It's like a size five. A little amber. Size seven. Um, if they are signed, and I think a couple of them are, I will uh, look at the better pieces. Yeah, like this one doesn't have anything. There's nothing on it, but it's a gorgeous ring. Again, it's a seven. And it had nothing to do with the sizes. It's what he had and what I found attractive. Um, but I did try to look for some other sizes. I mean, but I know seven and eights are a very common um they're in the very easy sellable uh, category, and that's just a really, really dark garnet. There you go. Yeah, that's beautiful. Open in the back clearly because you could see all that light coming through. This one, I'm going to clean. I'm going to clean it, and don't get mad at me, but um, it's gold around the top, and it says so inside that it's 14 karat gold all the way around the top there, and you can see that small line detail I think but cleaned up you'll see it a lot better there you go you see it there um, and I think it'll have a whole better look once it's shined up it's very da David Yermanesque looking um, I d oh yeah this one is a signed piece this says 14 karat on one side and 925 on the other so yeah that's it's stamped it's not signed but it does have a stamp that one. Oh, this one's really cool. 
Um, I, I really want to get my diamond tester going. Oh, yeah, that's it's probably a seven and a half though, because it just fits a little loose there. He didn't say whether they were or not, but um, I cleaned it up a little bit. Look at the stars in there. Like they're shooting stars within a whole sea of pave set whatevers. I'm not sure. But it's a great ring. I like, I like the feel of it. It feels nice on. I like the look. I, you know, this lighting's not doing these stones justice. Because in the, in the sunlight, it's incredible. I cleaned it, and then I went and looked at it outside. Not that it was very sunny yesterday, but I could. There, actually, for a little bit, it was. Um, and what does it say in here? It says some stuff. N925. N925 is what it says. And then it has a TM, like a trademark. So, I don't know who that is, but it's very pretty. Very pretty. I like it a lot. This looks like a smoky topaz. It's just a nice, chunky ring. And it does have a mark here. Hmm. It's got like a box with a stamp, um, and inside the stamp, it almost looks like an upside-down bell, I guess, inside of the square cartouche, and then right next to it, it says 925, and this side, oh, this side actually does say China, and that's probably why, you know, they just wanted to get rid of it, but it doesn't bother me a bit, stuff out of China. Uh, some of it is definitely coming across, uh, I, I find a lot of. China marked stuff 925 that is not real but this came from my gold guy so there's no doubt in my mind that it's uh I like the stone I like the I like how they uh oh gosh what's that called uh the setting there it's called a channel set That's a nice ring. Very nice ring. This one was beautiful. And this one has a mark in here. I love that too. Again with the channel set. Uh, Cid. C-I-D. I didn't look it up, but I have a secondary ring in here that is also Cid. C-I-D. So that's 925. Again, it's a 7. It's just a very common size. Uh, yeah. Very nice ring. This one is really nice. I think this might be the other Sid piece, if I remember correctly. 925. I lied. It's just 925. Tasha really liked this one. This one is more of a more of a seven and a half. Not gonna go on my eight, but definitely a seven and a half. I can get it over that knuckle and it'll fit there really nicely. Um, but this is opal. Doesn't look like you're going to get the flash. It's got some red flash and um, the stone. It's like the, it's got like, uh, it's like banded. And then it's got this cool little feature on the side. It's, it's a little uh, tarnished, but I don't like to clean uh, silver. Well, some of it I will, but um, yeah, you're not getting the flash there. It is opal and it's a nice size opal. I mean, that's my pinky. And or pinky nail, so you see how big that is. You know, once I had a uh, <laughs> uh, above my pool table, I had a lamp that had a hanging chain, and a little uh, hummingbird came and built a nest that was no bigger than like that. It was so small, and it was made out of like cobwebs and blades of grass, but it was mostly soft, fluffy stuff. Like, um, anyways, and it was. Uh, there was a couple of, uh, it laid a couple of eggs in there, and I had this amazing camera at the time, and I'm really into photography, and I was able to stand on a chair and get up, and, and I mean, I was like inches away from this nest, and I took pictures. I kept taking pictures every, you know, every so often, but the, the uh, hummingbird eggs were no bigger than that 
cabochon right there. No bigger than the, no bigger than the size of my um, my fingernail. My it, I mean they were probably smaller than this because yeah I mean minus the so yeah very similar to the size of this um, stone here. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. So there was two eggs in there and I kept taking pictures and kept taking pictures. Finally, one day I, I captured them after they had just hatched. They looked like aliens when they were first born. And then I kept taking pictures and <laughs> pretty soon um, their little beaks were popping out of the nest and they were... <laughs> <laughs> it was really close up to uh, where Tasha's place is, the little cottage back there. And um, to go to the bathroom, they would stick their little butts out the back of the um, nest. And they'd, you know, they'd poop on, and, and it's, it, it would hit the wall. So there was all these little poop marks on the wall. And it was one that was painted white before I made it look like stone. And... Uh, yeah, pretty soon their little beaks were out and then their tails were out because they were outgrowing the little, you know, the little tiny nest and there was no room for them. So they kept poking, you know, and then uh, pretty soon uh, one of them, uh, I, I caught the first one in flight for the first time. I mean, they finally eventually got out of the nest and they would walk. You know what? Maybe it was just one. Now that I'm thinking back, because I, I only remember one actually walking on the wire and catching it. So maybe it was just one egg. I'll have to go back. I have it on film. Um, but I did capture it in flight, uh, you know, after it eventually would walk on the wire and it was getting brave and it came out of the nest. Yeah, it was just one. I remember now. It's been so long. Um, I don't know what this is, guys, but it's, uh, it's stone. It's very cold, very cold. Um, yeah, it was the neatest thing. I mean, it was so cool to be able to experience that and capture it all on film um, and then actually catch it flying from the wire to the tree for the first time ever I caught it in flight. And it, I was, it, it's like National Geographic stuff. Some of the photos were just, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I should do something with some of my photos. I've got some, especially my wildlife photos at the beach with the the big, huge sea lions, you know, roaring and just, oh, just I've got some amazing photos. Just my, my nature photos are my best ones. I like those the best. So I didn't even tell you about this ring or what it said. Yeah, I don't know much about it. All I can tell you, it says 95, WK is the designer on that one. WK, this one is also out of China. But that's that's some sort of stone. I mean, it's very, very cold to, to the touch. And um, it's definitely not glass. Glass has got a different kind of sound. It's got a different ping to it. I kind of listen with my, I do this. That's glass. That's stone. See that? Stone. Okay, moving on. This one. What does it say? This is really nice. It's an older piece and it says nothing. And oh, wait, maybe it says it right in there. It does. It's just marked sterling. And then in the center, it has a, oh, it's got two, uh, triangles and, it, and they're facing each other so they're flat and then it's like uh, it's like a diamond but it has two lines and in each side it has the initials JJ it's JJ and it's gorgeous all the marker side is there I love that design very like almost like Art Nouveau kind of or is it yeah, it's, yeah, it's that. <laughs> it's nice. That's what it is. Uh, this one, I don't remember this one having any marks at all. Yeah, correct. This looks uh, artisan made. The way it's put together inside and everything, I would say that's more of an artisan piece. And, oof, seven and a half. It's, it's just a little, little large, little hangy there. Um, but it's a really nice 
really nice ring bezel set. Very nice. Another bezel set here. Same. It looks, I mean, to me, it looks amethyst. I'm no expert, and I will not ever claim to be one. There's some other, like, stamp on the other side, but it's not legible at all. Oh, this one is bigger. This one's an eight. That's nice. I like that. Again, I like this look. Um, it's To me, it's very David Yerman-esque looking, you know. Um, but I like the stone. I like the facets. It's a large ring. And it's it's not very high. Well, I don't know. For me, it would, like, get in the way of, like, I do stuff with my hands a lot. And I, I cut myself a lot. And... <laughs> Yeah, my hands are terrible. I've got little scars all over my hands from working in the meat department for all those years. And, you know, tools and whatever. Ooh, this one's probably like a six, but that's cool. Not sure what that is. If that's, I'm not sure. I really don't know what that is. Um, it's an unsigned piece. Ooh. It's an unsigned piece. No, no 925 marks or anything. I, I suspect this one's a little bit older. It's beautiful, whatever it is. It's stone. It's not glass. Very cold to the touch on my cheek. I mean, yes, it's cold in here, but I do have my heater on, actually, because... Uh, yeah, it was so cold outside this morning, and when I came inside, it was only 60 degrees in here. I'm cool when it's like 65 in here. I like that. 65, 70. This is CID. So this is the same maker as, I think it was this one, or one of them, Sid. I think it was that one, right? Yeah. These are designed by the same uh, company. And this is really neat. So it's got that moon glow in there, or uh, moonstone, which is a form of labradorite. It's just a lighter variation, something like that. I mean, I'm not, again, not the expert, uh, but I know it's in that same family. Um, and this does have some really nice blue flash in it. But the whiter the stone, uh, it, it goes into a different category, which is moonstone. I believe that's how it it works but yeah look at all the sweet little it's got little pinks and yellows and um, greens just really nicely done it definitely needs this would look fabulous cleaned I think um, I if I were to sport this oh this one's a large one too this is an eight also uh, if I were to wear this I would want to clean it up to make everything um, just really flash I think that's meant to be this it, it, more than likely a newer piece, not not vintage. A lot of these are vintage, but I I want to say I don't know. I I've never done research on that um, designer. I have no clue. I've showed you that this one's oh this is small too. That's about a six. But look at that honker. I like the way that setting is done, almost like a crown with that beautiful piece of lapis. And this lapis has gold pyrite through it. Um, it's definitely gold pyrite. Pretty nice. That's, that's a hunky. Ooh, I like the way they did that work in there too. That's really neat. And what does this one say? Here we go. SJ925. SJ925. And I'm showing you guys these things because I will be bringing these very soon. Um... Oh, this has got some cool... Whoa. It flown across the room. Where's my coffee? Wild. The closing to my thing the other night was pretty wild. Never experienced anything like that before. That was pretty ugly, and I apologize to um, anyone who had to see such a thing in the comments um, during our live show. I mean, it's clearly out of my hands, but uh, apparently there was some people who stepped in and reported this person for 
their very ugly behavior. It was just very uncalled for. Very uncalled for. And I apologize to those of you who were subjected to that because that is just no bueno. No bueno. I don't even know what this says, guys. Oh, R-E-K. Wreck. R-E-K. That's cool. Whatever this stone is, it's cool. Look at that. It's got some rough, rough in here. Some rough cut stones. Uh, not highly polished at all. If any of them has a nicer polish, it's this one. But uh, it's meant to be roughed up like that. That's that's the look that they're going for in this one. And I got that one on my eight. So uh, it was a little bit of a snuggy fit. So I'd say it's more of like a seven and three quarters. And that's pretty freaking awesome. Excuse my foul language. That's awesome. I like that a lot. A little, little snug for that one and sadly a little loose for this one. So not for me. Um, for one of you, that's, that's pretty incredible. I'm going to have to look up R-E-K and see what that one's all about. Um, this is just a, yeah, like a little pinky ring and it's cute. It's a vintage piece. It's butterfly. It's turquoise. And it's just super sweet. I doubt if there's any. It's a handmade number. There's nothing in there. I'm sure of it. Yeah, nothing. Very crudely done. Not not made by a um, master uh, jewelry designer. Um, again, um, yeah, not going over the knuckle on the eight. Too loose for that one. This is tourmaline. This is beautiful. It's yellow and pink. And if you could see what I'm seeing there. Most of this stone is yellow on from here over. It's yellow. And then on this side, it's pink. That's beautiful. That's a really neat stone. In the lighting, it's, uh, I mean, it, I think I'm going to clean this one, um, get in there and clean that stone really good from underneath. But it almost looks like fairy tale-ish because of the way the pinks and the yellows are mixing together. It's really, really pretty. Um, in the proper lighting, it's uh, it's pretty neat. It's like it's definitely a cool piece, and it's seven and a half. Ooh, and again, look at that! Look at that setting. It's got like two S's. S S. That's pretty neat. What does it say here? It says 925 on that side. And that's all it says. So I'm assuming that is their signature there. SS. And I like how they opened up the back to these two stones here. You see that detail? That's a good design. That's pretty nice to let that light through. Um, that was it on the earrings. I got this honker. I just thought it was cool. I like it a lot. I told you every once in a while, I like wearing a big flashy bling something and bigger the better. <laughs> and that's pretty big. That's pretty nice. I mean, that's going across four fingers there. It's hanging down. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Um, and it's not a signed piece. Oh, it just has a little 925 right here. That's pretty cool. This sweet little bracelet, it's just cute. It's tiny. It looks small. I mean, it fits me in my little six inch wrist. Fits me just great. So it's meant to be worn on a smaller, smaller size wrist, but it's really sweet. Oh, wow. This one is all signed up. Oh, Wiley. W-Y-L-I-E. Sterling. Wiley Sterling. So I'll have to do some research on that one before I come up with a uh, a price on that. Very nice. I didn't realize that was signed. This is very, very, very nice. I like this. I might keep this for a minute and, and I don't know. Um, having a hard time with this piece. This is opal. Um, it's a huge piece. I mean, that's clearly, that's a huge piece. It's, you know, it's got a lot of potch going through here um, on this side. It's got gray clouds and um, 
they call it potch. And on this side, though, there's just some great flash all the way down. It's got some great color. I love the shape. I like everything about it. I'm okay with a little potch. It's opal. It's beautiful. Of course, you know, the the clearer the stone and the more flash you're going to get, the more expensive the stone. I, I don't. But that's a very large piece, and it's beautiful. It's got a lot of real pretty. I mean, just the stone itself is really pretty. I love it. This is one of my favorite things. Again, birds. I, I love my birds. <laughs> I love my birds. And that's just a cool piece. I really, really like the way they did this. Whoever put this together, um, bravo to you. Hats off. That's a great piece of art. That's that's pretty neat. I like that a lot. It's a brooch, and it is not... Oh, it is signed. I take it all back. It just says 95. Just says 95. Like, I would so put my name on that if I made that. Oh, breaks my heart. Like, I'd want to own that piece, you know. Yes, I made that. Isn't that cool? I like that a lot. That's one of my favorite things I got. Uh, this is a nice turquoise bracelet. Yeah, uh, it has a toggle clasp, and... Um, it's pretty nice. What size is that? This is what I don't get. See, this is seven and a quarter. And I put it on my wrist and it feels like it's going to fit me just right. But if I put that measuring tape on my wrist, it says it's a size six. So I, you know, uh, mm. but very nice stones. Toggle clasp. It's nicely put together. Nicely put together. And does it say anything anywhere? It just says 925 right here. That's it. That's all she says. And the second coolest thing I thought that I got yesterday um, was this. It's just a chunky bracelet. And look at it. It has a fortune cookie. And then you can pull your fortune out of there, which needs to be just cleaned up just a bit. Um, Are you seeing that? I can't tell if it's coming across. There we go. Yeah, it's just got the little Chinese little glyphs there. And then on this side, it says, um, <laughs> it says naughty but nice. Naughty but nice. I thought that would make the cutest little Christmas gift for someone. Um, it's a fortune cookie. Naughty but nice. And what a great link. It's so well made. I mean, the whole thing is just put together so nicely. You can tell this is a great, like, whoever put this together, they did a great job. It's the way it's made. It's heavy. It's chunky. And it's got a great, uh, a great clasp here. I don't believe it has anything on it. Like, I don't see anything anywhere other than that. So, A, it's either this is your designer here. Um, let me look what's down in the corner down there. Oh, okay. It's made by DP2000. It was made by the designer DP in the year 2000. It has a copyright 2000. So this is 20 years old. And I don't see a 925 anywhere. Um, I don't see anything like that. But again, this came from my gold guy. So there's no doubt that's, um, it's silver and it's cool. And it's cool. So yeah, I, I'm probably gonna bring these things uh, for my next, um, my next round, which will probably be tomorrow, guys, sometime, because why not? Shipping's all done. Everything's packed and ready to go. I'm, I've got to wait for the post office to open at 9 a.m. Love the way that's caged in there. The way they just designed that whole piece there. It's so cool. Thank you, Gina. That's an incredible little piece of art. I really, really like that. And my bracelet, whoever. 
I got that from. <laughs> Thank you all for uh, for watching. Thank you for participating. Um, you guys have made my dreams come true. Um, I am a full-time reseller right here on YouTube. Thanks to all of you um, lovely, wonderful people out there. Um, this little circle of friends. Where'd it go? Oh, my gosh. Here we are. The little circle of friends. You guys are pretty amazing, and I I can't thank you enough, and neither can the rest of my family and my little fur babies and all the birds out there, yeah, that I feed. So thank you all. Oh, and let's not forget the squirrels and the little mice and stuff that feed also. <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, we love you so much, and we appreciate you guys. You rock. Happy holidays to everyone. I hope you're... Um, your holidays are incredibly amazing. I hope you spend it with lots of family and friends. It's something that a lot of us haven't done in a long time. And I'm looking forward to it this year more than ever. Because more than anything, I am grateful to my friends and family. Um, they're everything. So thank you all. And you, I consider you guys my friends and family. And I wish I could welcome you all into my home this holiday season. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that you'd all fit in my house. So <laughs> there's that. Okay, you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. And I'll probably come live tomorrow and bring you some of these great things. My beautiful circle of friends. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.